Hello and welcome to my channel. It is Thursday evening at 7 p.m. on June 23rd and this is the card we're going to make tonight. Um, it's a really cute, it's a book fold, uh, fancy fold, and it is a gift card holder. Um, this slides in and out. Um, I'm going to go ahead and slide it out because we're going to use it in the card we're going to make here tonight. Um, I have a nephew that is graduating in the fall and I went ahead and um, got this together. Uh, the one we're going to make tonight is for uh, a birthday and the suite we're using, it's the Sun Prince Suite and it is found in our current annual catalog on pages 90 and 91. Uh, Sun, the Sun Print Suite comes with everything on this page. So you get um, the DSP, Designer Series Paper. This is 12 by 12. There are how many designs? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 10, 12 different designs. It's double sided paper. You get this stamp set here plus the associated dies. And there is a 3D embossing folder that will give you, um, I think that's the DSP. I'll show you that in a moment. So, um, get that out of the way. This is the stamp bundle. And then here's the 3D embossing folder. And I went ahead and embossed some white cardstock and then took a, um, just a sponge dauber in our Starry Sky ink and went ahead and ran over it so it would give it would really show up here on this particular video let's see if I can get it to come into focus maybe maybe not sometime yep there it goes it's really beautiful um, 3d print I don't know if you can see it on this side I think that's the reverse impression that's the positive impression that I inked so we're not using this tonight. I'll use that in a future video. Um, tonight though, we are going to use this frond and this. Um, and then the sentiments are from a couple different stamp sets, uh, which I'll pull out in just a moment. So as I've done in the past, I was able to find uh, the time this week and do what I call a storyboard. So on this side you have the stamps and I uh, inked out, stamped out um, each one of the stamps that is included in, in this particular set and then I die cut out all the different shapes for um, the associated, die, um, excuse me, stamps. So now this one, this is beautiful. I can't wait to show this in a future. So this die goes with this, this goes with that, this goes with that, and these two go together. And then these five little things are just uh, background and showy, just to put a little bit of interest in whatever you're making. And then you have um, this tag, which I believe all of these sentiments will fit on. But speaking of sentiments, since this is a birthday card, we are going to use this happy birthday from the Peaceful Moments stamp set. And this set I am using, this is a retired set for best year. Um, you might be able to find it on Etsy or eBay, but I really like this wishing you your best year yet for my nephew who has a birthday, I believe it's next month. My niece um, was uh, Tuesday this, one of my nieces was Tuesday this year. So this is a good way to show current as well as um, a past where you can pair sentiments together and make it work. So let me get that out of the way. And let me show you this paper. This paper is absolutely gorgeous. This is 12 by 12 paper. It is double sided. And this, I just, I love this. This is so beautiful. This would make a great 12 by 12 scrapbook page, or you can pare it down 
and I created this little template where I've got four and a quarter by five and a half and I can kind of go around the DSP and see see what I want on the card that's if you're going to make a portrait that's for a landscape this is a cool little tool that I made it's just plain white cardstock and then this is the back side of that paper I'm just going to quickly uh, flip through um, I've got each of the 12 pages here and we're just going to flip them over nice stripes and you can see I've taken a little bit out of there I'm using that in tonight's project that's beautiful this is nice I don't know if you can see the there's some script in here which I just I love I do interactive um, junk journals and scrapbook and I just I just love as you can see we're using a lot of this sheet in our current tonight project that's the flip side of that paper this is just beautiful so this try not to do the glare here um, coordinating colors for this are gray granite night of navy pacific point and starry sky and of course uh, your basic white and um, your memento black ink if you wanted to use that um, but that is the sun print paper so i will have linked in the description of the video um, all the supplies and dimensions that you can go grab the PDF so we're gonna start out with our cardstock and I already previously cut it it is cut by 11 oops 11 by four and a quarter and we're going to do two scores so to make this the book fold or book binding fold um, we're going to score at our normal five and a half let me see if i can get you a little closer and let me push that up oh, got to get a few things out of the way up here so you can see I'm at five and a half. Make sure your cutting blade's down here and get a good score on this. So I run it across several times. And then I'm gonna flip this over and we want a square. So this piece here is a square, four and a quarter by four and a quarter. So do that four and a quarter and get a good score right there and get that out of the way so you're going to fold this towards the bump like we've done in the past so let's do the first fold get that across just like that and then this one we're going to fold open and we're going to score that this direction I'm going to pause you for just one second and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I heard some noises from my cats and just wanted to make sure everything was okay with them. So, go ahead and grab a ruler. And I have one of these. Yes, this is by Tim Holtz. I love this because it's got a zero here in the middle. And I know that... When I put that zero in the middle, you're going to have two and an eighth on each side. And I want to mark one inch in on both sides, just with a pencil. And you're doing this on, sorry, can't mark and talk at the same time. You want to do that on the short tab. And the reason for that is we're going to take our tear tape and we are going to line up 
don't not on this score mark but right up next to it we want tear tape and I use this tool in my interactive um, scrapbooking it's really nice because it's a right angle I can put that on a piece of cardstock if I'm doing fold over flaps and cut that and it also makes for a really nice tear in my tape so that's the fold so I want to put that right up against right up against but not on and then here and I'm not going past that mark I made because that is where our gift card is going to slide in so okay my cats are playing that's the noise I heard so I'm going to take my bone folder I'm going to burnish these down I don't want to take the tape off yet um, there's some things we need to do with um, the pieces and parts on this before I do that and let's see I went ahead and stamped that on this cardstock which this is going to go right here. I found that I did this one originally at four and an eighth by four and an eighth. And the gift card, there's something on the back when I slide it in that's catching on this right here. So I changed the design, oops, changed the design a little bit. And I'm going to take this almost all the way over. And let's go ahead and get this guy stamped up. And I am using gray granite and knight of navy inks this is gray granite cardstock this is knight of navy and for this i'm going to use the knight of navy get this little guy inked up and just right over here in the corner perfect oh nope it kissed the cardstock as you can see right whoops right there i kissed the cardstock so beautiful thing is there are two sides to every piece of cardstock i need to clean the stand off i put too much ink on it my uh, knight of navy is really juicy so let me see if i can do that again oh perfect okay Should not kiss the cardstock. There we go. Perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I am done with that. So let me clean it off really good. There. That's perfect. Okay, get that out of the way. And we're going to go ahead and glue this down. this bottle of glue it comes out really fast a little more glue than I wanted nice 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 and then when this is closed you'll be able to write anything you want to the recipient but we're not ready to close that so, um, don't need that yet. I'm going to pull you back out. Ah, there you are. And our pieces and parts. So, on our tag, see how I made this tag here? It's got the dual colors. So, I cut a gray granite and then a basic white out. And we're going to cut this one in half. But you notice I saved a little cardstock. I forgot to do that with this one. And just punch this out. That way I can put it right on here. This goes on the front. And no one's the wiser that there's a piece missing out of the middle. You just have to be really careful when you're like putting the glue down. Um,
And okay. Perfect. Just like that. And let's go ahead and glue this little dude down. Okay, then this little mystery. Oops, I see my little tape. And a little bit of tape over the edge. I don't I don't want that. So let's see if we can trim that. Out cutting the cardstock. There. Peel the tape edge back and then I can pull that back. Perfect. Okay. Clean that off the edge of those scissors and let's get this little guy done. So I glue this down on the gray granite cardstock strip and like I said the dimensions will be in the PDF the link is down below Get that from stopping the slide because that's gonna go right here but before we glue that down let me grab my tape dispenser I've got piece of six inch and four inch gray granite ribbon and I want this to just go down the middle and I like to use a little bit of scotch tape on the back of these and just tape down my ribbon on the back and then I'll show you what we're going to do to really secure it so it doesn't come up someday. And where's that tear tape? There it is. So let me move you a little closer and make sure I get you in shot. So, okay, don't need a tape dispenser anymore. But the terrible tape, I'm just going to put across there. Call it terrible because you can see it's really easy whoops really easy to tear but I tore it too long so yes snip that off there we go I'll clean those scissors off when we're done because I was trying to cut something earlier and I cut a bunch of sticky stuff okay let's burnish that I say burnish and what you're doing when I say what what we're doing when I say burnish is we're making sure that the one side of the double sided tape really gets stuck on the surface that you've just adhered it to. And I'm going to take the take a pick tool and I'm just lifting up that backing of that tape. And then the glue. And because this has got the tape on it, you're not going to have a lot of, you, you probably won't have any wiggle room on this. So make sure you get it lined up where you want it before you press it down. Because it will not move once that tape is torn. Now I'm not going to put the knot on here yet because I want to get the inside of this done first and we need to stamp this and then we'll do our sentiment last. So this my saying is where's my saying? 
wishing you your best year and I'm gonna do that in Knight of Navy Oh, awesome. Get that cleaned off. And I'm going to open up the gray granite. And we're going to use this little fern. And I'm just putting a bunch of it around. No rhyme or reason. Okay, let me get that cleaned off and then I'm gonna switch over to the Knight of Navy. Don't need this granite anymore, so I'm gonna close that up. Otherwise, I am gonna stick my hand in it. Okay, clean that up, move that up to the top, don't need that, I want the back side of that actually, let's save some paper, and this is going on the inside right there. right there <laughs> in case I, I didn't have you in shot I have to keep looking up and checking that I have a habit of bringing you in close and then doing half of everything down here <laughs> I am getting better the work in progress so okay let me throw this up here let me get the Stamparatus because, oh, here it is, right next to me. So, I'm going to do the Stamparatus, and I want this happy birthday. I put this here for glare, and... It's down right here. Let me get the magnet from underneath. I really don't care where. Just need to make sure it's there. And where's my sun print stamp set? So, one of the things I do when I've got forms like um, this or this where I want to do a lot of multiples I go ahead and just die cut out a bunch and then I go back and stamp them later so what I do is I have um, just cardstock that I throw in with the case and I use the stamparatus and I'm going to show you I've showed this in previous videos but if you've not yet seen that one sorry for that glare right there if you've not seen one of these uh, what I did is I took the die for the sentiment tag and just stamped it out and then I use this minty tape or you can use washi tape just a low tack tape and then put it on my jeans a couple times to make it even less tacky um, and then we're going to line that up here in just a moment. So let me just get this little bit, a little bit of ink impression here. Uh, let me use my doorknob. So that's how it's going to come out. So yeah, with the washi tape, you can, or with the minty tape, you can kind of see it, but I'm trying to get this all lined up. And then I'm going to take the magnet take that down and I found with this tag 
there's a right and a wrong way. So I was trying to do this and it just didn't fit into the hole. So there we go. And it's, oops, not quite down right. And I got some kitty hair there. Get that out of the way. So hopefully this comes out perfect. If not, I'm going to grab another um, tag. Put that down. Doorknob it. Make sure I get good impression. Hey, and look, isn't that gorgeous? Perfect, perfect, perfect. And then I just peel it up. And there it is. It's perfectly straight and center every single time. Love, love, love doing my die cuts that way. There are a couple of different um, tricks, tips and tricks I've showed. That's just one of them. And that's the wrong stamp set. I'm trying to get this back into the right stamp set. Otherwise, I'm going to lose it. Uh, and I can't find it. Oh, it's right here. Oh, dorky me. If you can't laugh at yourself, who can you laugh at? <laughs> so, okay. That's, oh, we're, okay. We are done with ink. So let me close this up because I just about stuck my hand in it. Okay, and I'm going to put you back out there because I'm going to show you what I'm going to do with this sentiment. Oh man, I got glue all over this. If you have glue on anything, this undo, this is awesome. I've accidentally spilled this on uh, blends images I've colored with blends or, or stamp and write markers and it doesn't take the ink it doesn't take the ink up it doesn't smear the ink um, it's a wonderful product and I have a link for this in the bottom of the just or down below in the description so I'm lining this up and I'm gonna cut that oops right down the middle just like that piece on each side and then let me get my silicone mat out here and like I said this tag is weird it's got a right and a wrong side and I think I got it right so let me pull you in close again And I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the edge here and here. Got a couple seconds to move that around and that's on the wrong side. Shoo! Good thing I pulled that up. So weird it's not symmetrical I was very surprised by that and I don't like that because it's got glue all over it so we're gonna try this again hang on one second I'm gonna pause you and get me another one okay let's try this again like I said it's really weird that this die is not symmetrical. hand sanitizer takes that glue right off your fingers okay let's see what we got here it is 
not straight. But hey, that's what makes it a handmade card. Ugh. Okay, I've got a little bit of glue right here. So let's see if I can get this up with this wonderful little adhesive remover. Perfect. Okay, perfect. Okay. So next step is let's go ahead and get this guy down. We don't need this glue anymore. And take a pick tool and move that up so you can actually see it. Just lifting the edge of that tape and then peeling it away. Don't dig too don't dig too hard because you can go through the cardstock. This is a very sharp point. This is our take a pick tool. So on one end, um, you've got, uh, you can pick up gemstones and embellishments. And then this, you've got this little spatula or this little pointy end. And it locks in place and there is a cover. So you don't accidentally stab yourself. So now I've got those uh, that tape exposed. Go ahead and fold it back, and then I'm going to turn it over, and I'm going to burnish this down. And look at that! Isn't that beautiful? So here's the four-inch piece of ribbon. We're going to go ahead and tie our little knot here. I'm going to slide it up. Get that really good. And I actually want the spatula. I tried to do that with the pointy end earlier. And it just didn't work. So I want a little glue dot. And I'm going to pull that up. And I want to ball it up. Stick it back on the spatula. And then on the back of the knot and then secure it to the card so that it doesn't move around. And I'll cut our ends so we have really pretty, pretty ends right there. And oops, our happy birthday. I am going to pop up on dimensionals. funny these little backings to the dimensionals I find them everywhere okay so get this lined up here Let's see if I can semi straight get this on the card just like that okay there's our happy birthday we are close. Our happy birthday and our congratulations. So the way this works is you've got that little pocket right there. Slides right in. It's not going to fall out. And you can write a little note to your recipient right there. And there you go. So thank you very much for joining me tonight. I ran a little bit longer than 30 minutes. That's always my goal, but I want to make sure that I give you the best instruction. And if I go a little long, I guess that's that's uh, the, the consequences for me. So again, thank you for joining me. I do appreciate your time um, and your attention to uh, the demonstrations I provide. And I will see you next Thursday.